Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. The Department of Truth, issue number one. You like this cover? It's not like all the other covers that you've seen in your comic book store, is there? Hmm, well, the largest comic book store in all of Canada happens to have approximately 500. Actually, they have far less than 500 now, but they still have a couple left. And if you're interested in getting this special comic book cover, well, you can just go to Gotham Central Comics and Collectibles right here in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, or check all sorts of descriptions and where to find those things have a conversation with the people there and uh, you might just uh, you know get a copy sent to you mention comic book university you might get an extra special deal attached to that too anyway let's get talking about this comic book because it was out of this world crazy this is an image comic book um i'd love to tell you the people who made this comic book unfortunately everything was redacted <laughs> I can kind of see through some of this, though. James Tinney IV as the writer is pretty obvious. Uh, Martin Simmons on art and uh, Aditya Bidikar on letters. Dylan Todd doing the design and editor Steve Fox. So the way basically i asked some people what's the book about is it any good they said oh it's really good it's basically what if all the conspiracy theories in the world were true well that wasn't the greatest explanation in the world but i understand why they gave that to me because i don't like spoilers so here's the deal um without spoiling it's not just what if all the conspiracy war uh, conspiracy theories in the world were true but what if they could be made true? And what if there was a way to make them true? How exactly would you do it? And would you want to? This book has essentially endless possibilities because it's all about the power of belief and how a certain faction of people will try to prevent that while another faction of people will try to propagate that. And all these people are caught in between and people who would never believe in conspiracy theories suddenly falling down the rabbit hole because of just one single conspiracy theory. What do I mean by all of this? It's as simple as this. Read the effing book. You might say, Professor, how much did you like this book? I can tell you I liked it enough that it is already in my pull list. It's as simple as that. I read this book. I called up. I said, hey, because I got, you know, connections at my comic book store. Anyway, I called them up and just like, bruh, I need you to put Department of Truth in my freaking pull list pronto. Like as soon as the store opens again tomorrow, I need that. Okay, done. So essentially it's done. <laughs> like this is insane how good this book is. In fact, maybe you maybe you're still like, well, okay, but Professor, you, you said you liked a lot of books and put a bunch of books in your pull list, but tell me how you really feel. Okay. Right now, without going into details, without drumming up a bunch of other series that I've read or whatever, I would say that first issues of indie comic books have a better chance of being considered one of the best first issues that you've ever read in your life than anything that Marvel and DC could hope to put out, right? I mean, you'd have to pull something off really spectacular, really creative with characters that, who for the most part have existed for up to 80 years in some cases, right? So in this case, when you have so much competition for a best possible first issue, I believe that this might be, it's easily one of the best first issues that I've ever read in my life. 45 years old. Dude, I've read comic books a lot of you guys have never even heard of before. Unless you're my age and you're as freaking desirous as I am to get your hands on all these crazy books. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo... <laughs> I remember reading Evil Ernie when nobody was reading Evil Ernie, you know? I get this book, and I'm just like, wow. This quite legitimately blew me away. This book, you need to get this comic book. You want to you wanna talk to me on the streets about stuff? I go shopping someplace, or I go out. You see me out on the streets, which happens once in a while. You know, it's nice. I get to actually meet some of my, you know, some of the people who, I don't want to say fans. No, no fans, alumni. Comic Book University alumni. We're all in the university together, right? And we're all learning from each other. But meeting a couple people who like what I got to say, 
this is the book that I want to talk about when I meet up with you, at least for the next month, at least until a week or two after the next issue comes out. It was seriously that good, my peeps. Definitely check that out. Also hit the like button, watch an ad, only way your favorite YouTubers get paid. Don't just be a bum and be like, oh, good video, bye. No, 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 like the freaking video at the very least. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Talk to you later, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.